As we continue discussing SEO with RapidWeaver, we want to look at another way of formatting your content. The text here, we have some text added, and what we want to do is now link some of the text to other pages of our website. And this is called internal linking, and we can see that um, an example here at Red Spot Design. As I scroll down through the content, we can see that there are words linked here, and these are keywords such as website design services, search engine optimization, web hosting. These words link to other portions of this website for the most part, and that is um, pretty much the idea of it. So let's go back to Rapid Weaver, and I'm going to take um, just a few keywords throughout the text here, such as website design. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to click the plus for the add link, drop down and choose my website design page, and set the link. And likewise, I could take the search engine optimization words here, add a link to my SEO page. And now we can see that those are active links, and that's internal linking. Let's preview, and we can now see here in the green with the rollover that we have internal links. You can, agree, you can see a great example of this as well at Wikipedia. Let's go to Wikipedia. And let's just do SEO. Search engine optimization. And here we see a good article on SEO at Wikipedia. And you can immediately see that there are a lot of links throughout the content. These are all internal links linking to other sections of Wikipedia. And so between all of the millions of articles available on Wikipedia, there is a whole lot of internal linking going on, uh, which is one of the reasons that Wikipedia ranks so high when you do searches for various topics. Um, of course, a lot of that has to do with the number of visitors they receive as well and um, providing valuable information. But this is a great example of internal linking throughout content. Um, in, a, in a way, some of this is a little bit overkill because we see a ton of internal links um, you don't want to go absolutely crazy, but it's a great idea to do that. And as you develop your content, you can pick out certain words to link. Now, what you might see on some websites is something like this. Click here, and then that links to another page. That does absolutely nothing for you in terms of SEO because what the search engines do is they read the click here link see that it points to another section of your website, but the words click here have no meaning at all. And so you're going to be optimizing the words click in here when those just don't really relate to anything. So you want to make sure that you are using internal links um, using the keywords, such as website design services here. And you want to um, use variations of your keywords. Earlier we, used, we saw website design. Um, this would say website design services, um, and so that a little bit of a variation there. So clicking on um, that and choosing the website design page once again gives us another internal link. So that is um, pretty important to do, um, especially from the home page, because that is your landing page where the search engine first finds your website, and then you distribute um, the links from here to go to the other sections of your website. Of course your menu does have direct links to those pages, but um, the more often a search engine sees links um, with keywords, the more it values um, those words and the content on the pages that they are directed to. So that is just a basic um, lesson on internal linking. It's, there's not a lot to it. Um, it's just a little bit of a science as to um, how frequently you do it and, um, and what variations of keywords and terms that you use to link. Um, don't select um, words that do not relate to the, to the um, page that you're going to be linking to. So let's not take, um, let's see, let's not take established business, for example, and link that to the SEO page. Um, those words have nothing to do with the topic of the SEO page and furthermore these words do not really give you any benefit in terms of linking it's just about as useless as linking click here so um, that will pretty much wrap this up and we'll continue on with um, some more tips on SEO